cloud storage services have already replaced traditional hard disk and server architecture. Not only for personal files and images, but also for business. In today's business world, people in your organization need to be able to access files from anywhere they may be working. The most important attributes of cloud storage are price, speed and giving customers a sense of security. Current systems are not assertive about it. Let's think about how it would be using blockchain technology to store your data. 10 times faster, cheaper and secure by means of decentralized and distributed networks. The future of cloud computing will most likely be created on blockchain-based networks. Let's discover one of the major projects. Storage. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. To understand the storage well, let's discover this next-generation cloud storage project for developers. In brief, Storage is a blockchain-based platform where people can share their drive space. Basically users pay other users on the network to store their files. Storage is an Ethereum-based token which powers a decentralized cloud storage network for developers. This network is called Storage Decentralized Cloud Storage DCS. When a user uploads a file to Storage DCS, pieces of each file are distributed to a global network of independent node operators. When someone requests the file, it is then prepared securely and made available for download. This means that anyone can store files on Storage DCS without having to trust a centralized third party. Let's have a look at how it works. The users provide their disk spaces for getting paid storage coins. These nodes should download a program named DriveShare. After, they should enter the data, how much disk space and bandwidth that they would like to loan. These nodes never have the customer's files copy or any piece of information. They just share the disk space and get the coin. Storage breaks the uploaded data into smaller fractions and distributes it across the network. Each file gets split into 80 pieces, and retrieving a file only requires 29. Each of the 80 pieces is stored on a different node, all with different operators, power supplies, networks, and geographies. So that no single company or organization could have access to uploaded data. Storage customers can choose how many nodes that they can host their files in the time period. Together with storage nodes, the network works based on three main components. The other two components are uplinks and satellites. The uplink is a storage client-site application that supports interactions with storage decentralized cloud storage. To create buckets and upload objects, users need storage's uplink. Uplinks also coordinate with peers to store and retrieve data. Satellites. Satellites coordinate traffic between the storage nodes and uplinks. They audit storage's storage nodes to ensure that they are storing their assigned data and acting in an honest manner. These satellites play an important and multifaceted role in managing, securing, and maintaining the network. If a storage node goes offline temporarily, data can still be recovered from other nodes. If a satellite goes offline temporarily, the data stored by that satellite could become unavailable. To sum up, storage is a platform, cryptocurrency, and suite of decentralized applications that allows users to store data in a secure and decentralized manner. This decentralized cloud storage system, a form of decentralized technology, similar to blockchain, encrypts data before being uploaded to the service and distributes each part globally. As an ERC-20 compliant token, storage can be stored in any Ethereum compliant wallet. You can currently purchase storage tokens on any of these exchanges like Binance. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the storage? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.